Hello everyone, welcome to LBS IS Academy. Today we are going to discuss politics MCQs based on previous year UPC questions. So let's start our session. Our first question is Consider the following statements. Statements are the motion to impeach a judge of the Supreme Court of India cannot be rejected by the Speaker of Lok Sabha as per the Judges Inquiry Act 1968. That is incorrect. The Constitution of India defines and gives details so of what constitutes incapacity and proved misbehavior of the judges of Supreme Court of India. That is incorrect. It is defined by the Judges Inquiry Act. The details of process of impeachment of the judges of Supreme Court of India are given in 4 Judges Inquiry Act 1968. That is correct. If the motion for the impeachment of a judge is taken up for voting, the law requires the motion to be backed by each house of the parliament and supported by a majority of total membership of that house and by not less than two-thirds of total members of that house present and voting. That is correct. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option C. Statement 3 and 4 are correct and statement 1 and 2 are incorrect. A judge of the Supreme Court can be removed from his office by an order of the president. The president can issue the removal order only after an address by parliament has been presented to him in the same session for such removal. Hence statement 1 is not correct. Proved misbehavior or incapacity are the grounds of removal. But the Judges Inquiry Act 1968 regulates the procedure relating to the removal of judge of the Supreme Court by the process of impeachment. Hence, statement 2 is not correct and 3 is correct. The address must be supported by a special majority of each house of parliament, that is, a majority of the total membership of that house and majority of not less than two-thirds of the members of that house present and voting. Hence, statement 4 is correct. So, her answer to this question is option C. Consider the following statement. Statement number 1. According to the Constitution of India, a person who is eligible to vote can be made a minister in a state for 6 months, even if he or she is not a member of legislator of that state. That is incorrect. Statement number 2. According to the Representation of People Act 1951, a person convicted of a criminal offence and sentenced to imprisonment for 5 years is permanently disqualified from conducting an election even after his release from prison. That is incorrect. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option D. Neither one or two of the statements are correct. An individual who is not an MLA can become a minister if he gets himself elected to the state legislature within 6 months from the date of his appointment. However, while the voting age is at 18 years, a person can be an MLA only after 25 years of age. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The Representation of Purple Act 1951 states the grounds for disqualification on conviction of certain offences. The convicted candidate is disqualified from being a member of either House of Parliament or State Legislator from the date of such conviction till the state time. This is not permanent. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. So, her answer to this question is option D. Neither one or two of the statements are correct. Consider the following statements. Statement number one, the President of India can summon a session of the Parliament at such place as he or she thinks fit. That is correct. Statement number two, the Constitution of India provides for three sessions of the Parliament in a year, but it is not mandatory to conduct all the three sessions. That is incorrect. Statement number three, there is no minimum number of days that Parliament is required to meet in a year. That is correct. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option C. Statement 1 and 3 are correct. Article 85 of the constitution states that the president shall from time to time summon each house of parliament to meet at such time and place as he thinks fit. But six months shall not intervene between its last sitting in one session and the date appointed for its first sitting in the next session. Hence statement 1 is correct. The session of Lok Sabha is called for at least two times a year. Constitution does not state that three sessions of the parliament should be called in a year. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. There is no provision of the minimum number of days that a parliament is required to meet in a year. Hence, statement 3 is correct. So, the answer to this question is option C. Statement 1 and 3 are correct. Answer the following statement. Statement number 1. Other metadata cannot be stored for more than 3 months. That is incorrect. It is 6 months. Statement number 2. State cannot enter into any contract with private corporation for sharing of other data. That is correct. Statement number 3. 
Uh, that is mandatory for obtaining insurance product. That is incorrect. Statement number 4. Uh, that is mandatory for getting benefits funded out of Consolidated Fund of India. That is correct. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? The answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 and 4 are correct. Statement 1 is incorrect. Supreme Court had ruled that other metadata cannot be stored for more than 6 months. Statement 2 is correct. In 2018, the Supreme Court had struck down Section 57 of the Aadhaar Act, which essentially allowed private entities to collect citizens' other details. While reading down the provision, the top court had called it unconstitutional. Statement 3 is incorrect. The same 2018 judgment also held making that other mandatory for other services apart from welfare schemes as unconstitutional. Subsequently, the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India issued an advisory in 2019 that clarified that other is not mandatory for obtaining insurance. Statement 4 is correct. In 2018, the Supreme Court ruled that other authentication can be made mandatory only for benefits paid from Consolidated Fund of India and that alternative means of identity verification must always be provided when other pays. So, her answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 and 4 are correct. In the context of India, which one of the following is the characteristic appropriate for bureaucracy? Options are an agency for widening the scope of parliamentary democracy, an agency for strengthening the structure of federalism, an agency for facilitating political stability and economic growth, an agency for implementation of public policy. So, her answer to this question is option D, an agency for implementation of public policy. Role of bureaucracy. It is the responsibility of the bureaucracy to carry out and implement the policies of government. Good policies and laws can really serve their objectives only when these are efficiently implemented by civil servants. So, the answer to this question is option D. The preamble to the constitution of India is, options are a part of the constitution but has no legal effect, incorrect, not part of constitution but has no legal effect either, that is incorrect a part of the constitution and has the same legal effect as any other part. That is incorrect. A part of the constitution but has no legal effect independently of other parts. That is correct. So, the answer to this question is option D. A part of the constitution but has no legal effect independently of other parts. Preamble is the integral part of constitution but it is not directly enforceable in a court of justice in India. That is, the preamble is not the supreme power or source of any restriction or prohibition, but it plays an important role in the interpretation of status and provisions of constitution. So, it can be concluded that preamble is part of the introductory part of the constitution. So, her answer to this question is option D. With reference to the provisions contained in part 4 of the constitution of India, which of the following statement is or are correct? Statements are, they shall be enforceable by courts, that is incorrect. They shall not be enforceable by any court. That is correct. The principles laid down in this part are to influence the making of laws by the state. That is correct. Select the correct answer using the quotes given below. Here answer to this question is option D. Statement 2 and 3 are correct. Part 4 of the constitution deals with DPSP. The provisions contained in this part cannot be enforced by any court. Hence statement 2 is correct and 1 is incorrect. DPSP is fundamental in the governance of the country and it shall be the duty of the state to apply these principles in making laws. The principles laid down in this part are to influence the making of laws by the state. Hence, statement 3 is correct. So, her answer to this question is option D. Statement 2 and 3 are correct. A parliamentary system of government is one in which options are all political parties in the parliament are represented in the government. The government is responsible to the parliament and can be removed by it. The government is selected by the people and can be removed by them. The government is chosen by the parliament but cannot be removed by before completion of a fixed term. The answer to this question is option B. The government is responsible to the parliament and can be removed by it. In Indian democracy, the government is responsible to the parliament and can be removed by it. Prime Minister along with the Council of Ministers form the executive and the parliament is a legislator. The PM and the ministers are elected from the members of parliament, implying that executive emerges out of the legislature. The term of government depends on its majority support in the lower house. If the government does not win a vote of no confidence, the council of ministers has to resign. Election will be held and new government will be formed. This form of government where the centre is responsible to the elected representatives of the parliament is called parliamentary form of government. 
Hence, option 2 is the correct answer. So, your answer to this question is option B.